Welcome to Math Movies with Miss Boyer Beck and Miss Valuti. Today we will be solving division using partial quotients. Here is our problem 476 divided by 18. I can start by writing out the problem 476 divided by 18. One of the great things about using partial quotients to help me in solving division is that I can use my knowledge of multiplication facts that I know to help me solve. For instance, this problem is what times 18 equals 476? When I'm doing partial quotients, I want to try to think about factors that are easy numbers for me to think about and work with. So often I start off with factors like 10, multiples of 10, 5, or 2 because these are numbers that I can think about in my head more easily. I'm going to think 18 times 10 equals 180, so 18 times 20 is going to be 360. Now I'm going to subtract. And I notice that I'm left with 116. So now I need to think about what times 18 is going to get me close to or equal to 116. Well, if I know that 18 times 10 is 180, then 18 times 5 is going to be 90 because 5 is half of 10 and 90 is half of 180. Now I'm going to subtract again and I'm left with 26. I'm going to think 18 times 1 will be 18 and I'm going to subtract and I'm left with 8. Because this 8 because this 8 is less than 18, I know that this is my remainder. And over here, I'm going to add 20 plus 5 plus 1 to get 26, making my final answer 26 remainder 8. Notice how I have put my factors directly next to the product that they go with. So 20 is next to 360, 5 is next to 90, and 1 is next to 18. This is an important way to keep track of your work clearly so that if you were to make a mistake, you would better be able to find where your mistake was. Thanks for watching. As you can see, partial quotients is a great strategy to use when solving division.